Can you describe what the complex task was that you had students engage in um, recently? It was explaining uh, how the place value of a multi-digit number is affected by using the powers of 10. The learning goal today is I can explain how the place value of a multi-digit number is affected when multiplying by a power of 10. Okay. Okay. Uh, what, what exactly did you ask the kids to do? It's, it was cognitively complex. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to hear this. But prior to that, they had a little bit of background knowledge, but this was the tie-in piece where they had a paddle, they had base 10 blocks, and they're allowed to write on the table. Okay, there are a few strategies that they can use in order to show the effects of multi-digit multiplication okay. by, by the powers of 10. So basically the outcome was for them to show me three different ways that they could explain the learning goal, which that then ties back into your scale. Mm -hmm. Sure. Luckily, thanks to Mrs. Celix, we have lots of math resources right. that um, engage the kids more because we have to worry about here differentiating the instruction right. for our group and able to reach all of those kids instead of some being back here or right. some being over there. So really that's our thinking when we go into it, mm -hmm. is what, what are the best tools we're gonna use to reach them all at one time. Right. Fantastic. Uh, letting kids explore. So they, they give that task and they give them manipulatives um, maybe strategy boards and they just let them play play with it so that they can start learning and putting their mistakes oh okay this is why and self-examining self-reasoning sure. for that and those are very high level and then they work backwards from there and then the other thing I would like to highlight is there this team is really strong at using questions four and five from the PLC cycle okay what are we doing for these kids that aren't quite there and what are we doing for these kids that have got it like what how are we differentiating and all of the, all four of these classrooms, you'll walk in and you'll see that true differentiation going on any given time in the day. Is it fair to say that when you're starting with a complex task that those questions are thought of ahead of time? Yes. Right. Is that what you yeah. did? Yeah. Yes. Um, so to start the planning with this, we've looked at uh, previous learning goals and we kind of scaffolded the instruction so that they learn different ways of representing numbers using powers of 10. And from that, we were able to release this task to them so that they're able to access it and show their learning in different ways. Usually, like, she, gives, she teaches us different things instead of the yeah. same thing. Because if we do the same thing, then it's like you already know it and it's going to get boring. And then we do yeah. it ourselves to see what we need to work on. It. 